Mr. Friedrich Erding is a farmer. He heats with wood. Local council employee Gerhard Zechner heats with oil. Father Pretorius heats with coke. It all entails a lot of work, but there's no getting around heating. Is there no alternative? Yes, there is. District heating. Which criteria make the main selling points for district heating? District heating is totally economical, whether it's based on waste heat from major power stations or operated on a smaller heating plant basis in rural areas. For instance, locally produced biomass is used as a raw material, straw or wood, which would otherwise be wastefully burnt and pollute the environment. But a far more serious source of air pollution is household heating. A district heating plant is fitted with flue gas filters for its central furnaces, so it significantly reduces the level of pollutant emissions, not least for the sake of our young ones. An indispensable factor is the planning and construction supervision carried out by FSG specialists. Flexilane pipes are simple to lay and thus ensure that building costs for the district heating plant are kept to a minimum. For the individual household then, installation costs are lower than with oil or gas heating for instance. The ultimate in convenience, but also additional sources of income for the individual and lower energy import levels, which benefits the economy and makes it less sensitive to crisis. District heating is fast conquering rural areas. In Kautzen in northern Austria, the authorities, after due consideration, decided in favor of a district heating plant. After narrow pipe trenches were excavated, flexilane pipes were laid. Simply, around any obstacle, without extension compensation, and easily and fast. For longer distances, the pipes are connected safely and absolutely imperviously using polyfusion welding. At the same time, the building which would house the heating plant was put up apace, its design blending in with the countryside. Soon the preheating unit, the furnace and the chimney were in place. After less than six months, the plant went into operation. Solar energy is used as an additional heat source for drying the wood chips. Countless satisfied subscribers swear by the state-of-the-art technology planned by FSG and installed with the help of flexilane pipes. Flexilane pipes with temperatures up to 95 degrees Celsius are exceptionally robust, extremely flexible, ensure minimum heat loss and are absolutely corrosion proof. District heating distribution systems for large-scale generating plants and biomass heating plants with Flexilane, the pipe system. <laughs>